The Salton Sea is a hard place to understand, but one thing's for sure. In the year 2017, San Diego and other local water agencies will no longer be required to deliver water to the Salton Sea. Because it was created by accident 100 years ago, most of the water that we see now is just farm water runoff. But if the sea continues to dry up the way it has been for the past 15 years, more and more lake bed will be exposed. And when the desert winds blow, that dust could find its way all the way to Los Angeles. So we made the 180 mile trip out to the Mojave Desert to see what a landscape on the brink of destruction looks like. And the heyday was really built around the notion that here was the biggest lake in California, just ready to become a real estate developer's dream. You are looking at a remarkable idea. An idea that has intrigued and attracted and literally thrilled thousands upon thousands of men, women, and children. For this is the story of the miracle sea in the desert, the Salton Sea. Three hundred eighty-five square miles of water formed by accident back in 1905 when the Colorado River ran wild over man-made dikes. A sea in the desert with its wide sandy beaches, no tides or dangerous undercurrents, and with literally millions of fish ready for the taking. Post-World War II nuclear families could spend leisurely days at the miracle in the desert, fishing, swimming, water skiing, taking in speedboat races. The 1950s and 60s were the heyday of this boomtown resort area, seeing developments like Desert Shores, North Shore, Salton Sea Beach, Bombay Beach, and Mecca Shores. At one point in the 1960s, more people visited the Salton Sea than Yosemite. But the developments never took off the way everyone thought they would. The sea rose during tropical storms in the 1970s and flooded much of what had once been beachfront property. Hundreds of miles of streets have been paved in the 1960s, waiting for homes to be built. But as we look at it in the present day, now we just have a ghost network of streets and very, very few homes. And as we move towards the future, the sea and the communities that surround it continue to float in this limbo. To help us understand the nuanced problems of the Salton Sea, we sat down with Jessica Lavecchio, an environmental specialist with the Imperial Irrigation District, a local water agency in the Imperial Valley. The reason why we're out here, and it seems like a lot of people, I read something in the New Yorker, I saw something in the Desert Sun just a couple of days ago, are kind of looking towards the Salton, the Salton Sea because of the 2017 date, and mm -hmm. what happens in, in 2017? So in 2017, IID will stop delivering what we call mitigation water. The IID are the gatekeepers to three quarters of all the water California is entitled to from the Colorado River. Roughly 3.1 million acre feet, or in gallons, a little bit over one trillion gallons of water. The Imperial Valley, which contains the Salton Sea, has a population of 180,000 people, but has 500,000 acres of farmland. Knowing how much acreage is dedicated to farmland makes it easier to understand this number, 1.3 million acre feet, or around 423 billion gallons of water runs off of farms and into the sea every year. This is also the amount of water that evaporates from the sea every year. To give us a better idea of these large numbers, the entire city of Los Angeles uses about 1 million acre feet or 
325 billion gallons of water every two years. So these numbers really shine a light on how water intensive farming can be. And that water is delivered to the Salton Sea. It's Colorado River water. It's coming directly through our system and discharged either through the rivers or um, a couple of spill drains that we have. And it is to mitigate the salinity level. So the salt amount that's in the Salton Sea right now. Um, the additional benefit to the mitigation water is it is keeping the elevation of the sea at a somewhat constant level. The fact that the Salton Sea is disappearing should not come as a surprise to us. In scientific terms, the Salton Sea is an endoric basin, a closed drainage basin that retains and collects water and allows no outflow to other external bodies of water. Because it's 227 feet below sea level, this is the lowest point around and water runs towards it. These basins equilibrate through evaporation. That's what they're supposed to do. So the Salton Sea is supposed to disappear. We have a hydrology model right now that shows what the sea could potentially look like if nothing is done. And if nothing is done, we will expose something between 60 and 70,000 acres of um, playa, which is lake bed with no water on it. That floor is full of toxins. It's full of the fertilizers that the agricultural community that surrounds the Salton Sea has used for decades. And that runoff has turned into a fine powdery danger and when this as the sea shrinks and the wind blows that stuff can become airborne even if we're not in the city of los angeles not even in the county of los angeles if the salt and sea dries up who knows how far that dust will go we've seen what's happened at owens lake after the city of los angeles drained that lake so we're out here just because we're compelled to be, even if it's not exactly a Los Angeles story. I don't know whether it's been physically attacked by people that come through and knock buildings down or burn trailers or whatever, but it has that apocalyptic post-war feel to it, as if something terrible happened there. And really what terrible, the terrible thing that happened there was the economy couldn't support it. There weren't enough people to buy those plots of land and turn it into the resort dream that developers had for it. Normally when we shoot an episode, I feel uncomfortable. It's just part of making a good episode. Um, I do feel very uncomfortable right now. A lot of abandoned spaces. There are people that live here still over there. Um, yeah, just very uncomfortable. When we were driving around the west side of the Salton Sea, we stopped and talked to the local resident. He didn't want us to film his face or use his name. Do you, you see yourself living out here the rest of your life? No, no. I'm just a caregiver for an elderly gentleman down here and stuff like that. I do side jobs and stuff like that. But no, my wife wants to get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true to the Salton Sea because it's, a, it's, it's if it's an alternative world there. It's almost another planet. Things just that we're accustomed to in an organized way don't really seem to happen at the Salton Sea. It's very different. I mean, it's a little bit of a 60s vibe, a little bit of a hippie-ish vibe, but it's also people who are pretty much down on their luck, but are trying to make the best of it. And you can't beat that. I mean, that's uh, the human spirit at work, right? The Salton Sea is California's largest lake. If you plopped it over Los Angeles, it would run from Hollywood to Irvine. So when you're dealing with an issue as large as this, there are no easy solutions. We want to keep the dust down, but we also want to conserve water. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to fix the sea, but something will have to give. The future of the sea is unknown. The best we can do is to keep an eye on it and see what it looks like after 2017. Yeah. <laughs>